Hey guys, David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the HTC Aria. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for a how to root the HTC Aria procedure. Before we begin, this is probably the easiest method available to root. Uh, this method will also flash a custom recovery image so you can start flashing ROMs immediately as well as give you root access. One last thing before you begin, uh, on your computer go to Start, Control Panel, Programs, and then uninstall HTC Sync if you've ever installed it. Uh, it seems to block uh, the way this program works at certain steps. So make sure it's completely uninstalled before you begin. Okay, first thing you do is you need to download the unrevoked rooting app. Um, there are three links there, one for Windows, Mac, and one for Linux. Uh, download that and save it to your computer. Once you've done that, you're going to double click the reflash package that you just downloaded and it will self instruct itself. Just click install. And now a few files should appear in the folder. You're going to double click the one that says hboot driver. It should open up a browser window. Now we're going to follow these instructions to install the modified USB driver. So we're going to write or we're going to click this to download that. Uh, just download it somewhere to your computer. Desktop works fine. And wait for that to download. Okay, once you download that, we're going to right click it, extract all, and extract. Once we do that, we're going to turn off. Okay, and then we're going to connect the phone via USB to our computer. Then we're going to scroll down with the volume down button to HBoot USB, push power to select it. it should say HBoot USB here. Okay, now we're going to open the device manager. We're going to click start, go to computer, right click it, hit properties. And we're going to click over the top left, we're going to hit Device Manager. And now under Other Devices, you're going to see Android 1.0 with a little exclamation point on it. We're going to right click and hit Update Driver Software. I'm going to select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. So they're in the Android USB that we extracted. We're going to click Android USB driver, click OK. Make sure include subfolders is checked. And we're going to click Next. It's going to say Windows can't verify it. That's fine. Hit install this driver software anyway. And wait for it to install the software. Should say Android bootloader interface successfully installed. We're going to click close and go to the next step. Okay, once the bootloader modified driver is installed, we're going to unplug the phone. We're going to turn it off by taking out the battery and then putting it back in. Then we're going to turn it on by holding power. And wait for it to get back to the normal home screen. Now we're going to find the reflash program itself, uh, where we extracted all the self-extractor. Right-click it, run as administrator just to be safe, and it should open up the unrevoked program and say waiting for device. Okay, then on our phone we're going to hit menu, settings, go to applications, development. We're going to make sure the USB debugging is checked on, and then we can hit home. And now we're going to plug the phone in. Via USB cable with unrevoked running on the computer, charge only, 
done. And set the phone down. Once it recognizes the phone, uh, it should say booting into bootloader, etc. Uh, we're going to wait for the phone to boot into bootloader and then we can continue. If unrevoked still says waiting for device when you uh, plug in your phone, just close unrevoked and then reopen it. Okay, once the phone boots into HBoot, we're going to push volume down a few times to get to HBoot USB, then push power to select it. It should say HBoot USB up at the top here. When it happens, unrevoked should start doing some more things. Okay, once it does that, it should say booting into uh, recovery, and then it'll say waiting five seconds because five seconds because Windows sucks, and then done. Once it's done, you should have your Clockwork Recovery mod open on your phone. Okay, we're gonna scroll to Android and hit Power, do a backup, and uh, see if we can back up the system information. Okay, once it says backup complete, we're gonna use the volume buttons and scroll down to go back. And then do that again. Or, nope, sorry, go up to the top and hit reboot system now. And it should reboot back into the normal mode. Okay, once the phone reboots into normal mode, you should be able to open the application drawer. Scroll down, and you'll see super user permission, the little ninja guy there. Uh, it means you probably have root access. You can go into terminal type SU and see if it gives you uh, permission. Um, pretty much all set. Uh, you should also be able to turn off the phone. And turn back on by holding down volume down and power. So you see HBoot mode. Wait for it to search for the file that it won't find. Okay, and then you should be able to push volume down to get to recovery. Power button to select it. And you should get to your Clockwork mod recovery, uh, custom recovery image. As long as you have that, you're all set. You can now go on to flash custom ROMs. You could just stay like this and use root access for whatever you want, uh, Wi-Fi tethering, etc. And that's it. Enjoy. Thank you.